down here. What's that? There we go. Here? Yeah, down here. Uh, over here? Yeah, your video's on start again. Oh, there we go. And then um, I'm going to record it too. So. Yeah. Oops. Man, I want that. I don't know why that Gmail goes in there. with my phone or oh, yeah yeah this is just i use a city account here okay it won't uh, on your yeah not on your account all right i don't even know my password for that yeah. <laughs> i don't ever use it as i think it was set up because of my phone oh yeah under the uh because you have an android google yeah <laughs> okay okay all set yeah Okay. okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi, Mayor. Hi, Tiff. Hello. You got your critters in the background, Tiffany. Yeah. yeah. Not the live ones. <laughs> <laughs> What was the what was the change to the agenda thing? It was on the last resolution. Um, the last blurb had the wrong project listed. Oh, okay. So it was just nothing that you'd have to worry about while signing tonight. Uh, Hello, Chief. Hello, how are we all doing? Good. Good. How are you? Good. Good. That's an impressive back wall you got back there, Tiffany. I'm digging it. <laughs> Mayor, did you see Dave's email?
Linda, Linda, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, but you're you're in under an attendee. Go back to the original in my email I sent out yesterday and come in under a panelist. Okay. Can you hear me now, Bill? Yes. You're, okay. You're, okay, you're there now. Hi, Jack. How you doing? Good, Bill. Good. Waiting on everybody to sign on. Hello. Yeah, you are, you are. Go back to the one I sent out yesterday, and uh, that's got the uh, the uh, uh, for the uh, panelists. Okay. I'll, I'll stick okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Mayor, I don't know if you've noticed, I, I came in and left. <laughs> What's that? I came in and left. I clicked on one of the other links and all I saw was you talking on the phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's uh, uh, the, the, uh, the panelists have to use the one that I sent out yesterday. Uh, okay. Paul's going to come in and uh, Linda, okay, it looks like uh, she will be coming on that one also. She's over as an attendee right now. We'll have to get her uh, in as a panelist. I sent your email from yesterday. I just forwarded it to all the aldermen uh, with, with the link for tonight, Bill. So I think right. they, they got confused with a couple of the emails. Yeah, Glenn's, Glenn's uh, Got a homie said I didn't send anything out, and so I was trying to send a reminder, and I think I sent the, the wrong one. But he, uh, I did send it out. He had me thinking that I not, or uh, so I had to check on that. So okay, we got. Uh, Can you hear me all right, Bill? <laughs> yep. John Crawford sent me the correct link, I guess. Okay. Well, you got. I I sent it out yesterday. Uh, and then try to send a reminder today. I think I screwed it up. So uh, I don't want to send it out too far in advance because then several people say they never got it or they lose it or whatever. So okay. 
You be good. Let's see where. Okay, so Linda's still a panelist. I'll uh, I'll text her. Okay. Yeah, Dave, you're listed as John Crawford too. So John must be the one you sent out. Whoever comes in under that's going to be under your name. Really? Yeah, Dave's listed as John Crawford. Dave, I th well, I, uh, there is a way you can change the name, but oh, rename. So we we each get our own our own invitation. It must be that it comes that way as a panelist. So. Dave, if you go on your picture. Yeah, I just there, think I did it. And it says, if you go on, there's three little dots We're up at the top where it says mute. Yeah, I just did it, Bill. Oh, you got it. Thank you. Yeah. You got it. So, okay. Kevin's here. Carrie's here. We're still waiting for Linda. Let me call her. And I think she comes in on her phone, though, doesn't she? <clears throat> yeah, she says that she's still not on. Yeah. Tell her to go to yesterday's email that came out for the meeting and use that. Sir, Ron, can you hear us? I can hear you guys. I tried to log it on before and I was, wasn't able to get on. How about them bills? <laughs> they had a nice season. Uh -huh. They had a very nice season. So I'll put it in the room. Is that email says panelists and is from 10 26 a.m. 10 26. Yes. Yesterday. Yeah. Yes. Okay. She's off the attendee. So uh, she should be coming in as a panelist here. We're still waiting on Jason.
No. I didn't hear anything from Jason Panis. Did you, John? No, I have not. Okay. I'm going to send a message quick here. Yeah. Have, uh... Jason's having difficulty uh, getting into his email. We're having all sorts of technical glitches today, huh? Yeah. yeah. Linda says she's trying to get in, but uh, is not succeeding. OK. Uh, Jason Wells just sent out a, a uh, let's see. OK. No, I'm sorry. He didn't. That was to me. So. Have them go to yesterday's uh, email, I think, uh, at 1026. Is that what you said, Vernon? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Linda's, uh, she's back over as an attendee. You want me to just give her the uh, uh, okay to talk and leave her, her there? That's fine. That's fine with, uh, but for, is she able to get on camera for voting purposes, Bill? Uh, we, we don't have to. Uh, I went, I had a webinar the other day uh, from the open meeting law. Okay. And under COVID, uh, we do not have to be on camera okay. to, to vote, so. Okay. Um, okay. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. So I will give. Is that a legislative decision or an executive order? <laughs> Sorry about that. I still can't get into the other one. Okay. Well, we'll leave you on uh, on this one here so you can hear things. And uh, uh, I was just explaining that I I uh, sat in on a webinar uh, that the uh, uh, open meeting. Uh, on open meetings that they gave from the uh, state and uh, the COVID restrictions under the COVID uh, uh, rules for the sem webinar or for meetings now, you do not have to be, uh, you, do not, you do not have to be um, uh, on camera or be visible to vote. So okay. Under normal conditions, yes, they said, but not, not now, so. Gotcha. Okay, Jason, you're you're there. Yeah, I'm here. I had to get on on my phone. My computer email won't work for some reason. Okay. Can I just tell you all day today up by the hospital and on Main Street, they have had a lot of issues with people's emails and spectrum. Um, I know the medical group was messed up most of the day, so maybe that that might be what my problem is. Okay. Okay. All right. So we are all here. Um, I believe we're all here. And it is <clears throat> well after 630. Bill, is there any reason uh, for us to hold off? No, I think everybody here. Everybody's here. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, then I would like to call to order the Committee of the Whole uh, for Tuesday, January 26th. 2021, let the record show that all members are present. Um, first on the agenda, we have finance and bills. Um, this uh, finance and bills was uh, brought to us uh, that you should have received them in your uh, mailboxes. Do you have any, uh, are there any questions or comments on finance and bills before uh, moving forward on those. No. Okay. Uh, seeing nothing. Um, I have something. I'll just. I'll take it. Um, I'll take it offline. I'll. I'll follow up with Bob. Uh, I'll. I'll make a motion to approve. Could I get a second, please? 
So seconded. Seconded by uh, the Honorable Kevin Doherty. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion <coughs> carried. Uh, next, we have PL 2 21 by Mayor Alio that the project loan committee recommends that the city subordinate its lean position for Olean Home Ownership Assistance Program application five. Uh, Mr. Mayor. We have uh, Carrie, Carrie Kerber's here to, uh, to explain this. Good evening, okay, Carrie. Hi. Um, so this home ownership um, participant was under our 2000 program. Um, she was actually the fifth applicant that we had ever received back then. And she still resides in the home as her primary residence as outlined in the program guidelines. Um, all she's looking to do is a home equity line of credit with a local bank. So um, we'll still keep our lien position on the home. This is not a discharge, it's just a subordination. The project loan committee reviewed the application on January 14th with the information I provided about the financing and they recommend approval um, of this request to the Common Council. Okay. Okay, uh, we've done these before. Are there any comments or questions? I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion. Motion is made uh, by Alderman Witt. Could I get a second, please? I'll second. I'll second. Seconded by Alderman Anastasia. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion's carried. Thank, thank you, Carrie. Um, next, we have PL 3 21 by Mayor Alio that the Common Council act as lead agency, uh, conclude that the proposed City of Olean Washington Street Waterline Replacement Project is a Type 2 action, and that after full review of the environmental assessment form, determines that the project will have no adverse impact and thus issues a negative declaration. Uh, Mr. Mayor? Uh, we'll have Bob ring. Uh, Bob, would you uh, go ahead and explain this? Yeah, you know, as John stated, this is related to the Washington Street Waterline Replacement Project. Um, if you recall in our reviews of the project, this has been broken down into two phases of the project. Um, we, in 2018, we passed a seeker for phase one, um, and since then we received a grant and we've been working with the granting agency to close on the finances and they've asked us to pass another seeker um overlapping the original seeker but also including the full scope of the project so um i did a um, environmental quality review uh type two action um this past week and i determined um recommending that we uh as speaker with the negative declaration that there are no adverse um, effects to the environment for the removal and replacement of the water line. Okay. Any questions? <clears throat> okay. Um, well, I, we all got that. Um, and uh, are there any questions regarding the <clears throat> the seeker for uh, the Washington Street um, phase two? Okay, seeing none, um, I'd like to make that motion. Could I entertain a second, please? I'll second it. Second by Alderman uh, Robinson. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you, Bob. I have to, uh, all right. Um, so, uh, any, I'm sorry, any opposed to that? Uh, motion carries. 
So not on the agenda, we have an, a discussion item here on the assistance uh, to firefighters grant application. Um, so there will be a resolution added to the regular meeting um, authorizing this if, if uh, so we should see that uh, shortly. Um, but um, Mr. Mayor. We have uh, Chief Richardson, Chief Tim Richardson. I guess I have to clarify which chief is here now. So <laughs> which one's gonna be talking. So uh, Chief Tim Richardson, who will, uh, give, I think he believe he sent out an overview uh, to everybody today, but he will explain uh, what's going on here. So uh, Chief uh, Tim Richardson, please go ahead. Good evening, everybody. So in the attachment that was sent out in email today, basically this would replace our full complement of SCBAs. The reason we're doing it in a full shot issue is because you don't want to mix, you know, have mixed equipment, those types of things. Um, basically, we're aging out 10 of our SCBAs that are older than 2007. Uh, we have 16 right now that are 2013 edition. And in the last uh, two years ago, they passed the 2018 edition, which uh, really does a lot for the health and safety of the firefighters, including uh, more speaker microphones for communications in the fire. Um, this is a, these are kind of bare bones air packs. They get the job done. They do it very well. They will come with the increased communications. Some of them now, actually, you can put thermal imaging cameras right on the air pack alone, but we've decided since the since the council and the city's invested in thermal imaging cameras that are handheld, they're far more superior to the ones that are actually with air packs. So we decided to not go that route. Uh, this grant match is the same one we went for the brush truck on last year, which we were unsuccessful in attaining. Um, but the total cost of the project, which is on state bid is uh, 203,000. Uh, local share is 5%. Uh, what I would ask for is uh, support of $10,150 for the uh, for the match, uh, much as Kerry can testify, once we put, you know, once the council and the city commit, it, it definitely lends a lot more strength to our application than others that are just that are just applying. So this is just the last, basically the last part of the project. Everything's been done. Uh, several of the department heads have worked with me putting the application together because it takes kind of takes kind of all of us to put this put this package together. It's a it's a 84 page packet. And uh, we're kind of right down to where I am now coming to you folks. Okay. Well, thank you very much, uh, Chief Richardson. Uh, definitely appreciate the effort um, to go in and, and, and go after, uh, of course, any freebies, especially during uh, these times as possible. Um, so really trying to, to leverage um, the city's money um, is, is time well spent. Are there any questions uh, on behalf of the council? John? Yeah. Um, how many? Way. How many of these would we be replacing? All of them? Did he say? Yes, Linda. Okay. It'd be, yep, it'd be all of them. Just because uh, the main reason is is because if we start mixing equipment, actually, to give you kind of an example, the new SCBA tanks that actually go into the air pack itself—they're all quarter turn valves now. Before they're all spin-ons, so it's it, the equipment. We can't mix up the equipment, so it's just better to go for it all at once than than to kind of piecemeal it over a couple of years. Oh, I agree. That's a great idea. Here's a question, and I, and I'm sure you know. I think you told me when we spoke earlier in the week about this. Uh, some of the some of the tanks are quite old. Are there any? Is there any salvage? Uh, value to them or do you just donate them to volunteer? What, what, what do you do with the older tanks? The hope that if we're awarded, we'll look at the cost of, you know, it may in fact drive the cost down or we may get a trade-in value. Okay. Uh, the, the issue you kind of run into is be, like the 2007 editions, for example, usually a lot of those air packs will go over toward, there's distributors that send them overseas uh, to mm -hmm. less developed nations and they use them, they use them throughout that. Some of the other ones I've, I've talked with Bob Ring this, this morning that may be a, a couple of our better shaped ones we can repurpose to the water department. Oh. All right, good, good news. Oh. What, uh, what do you anticipate the lifespan of these units being? 
there are, right now the, the technology is getting better and better. You keep looking at it and it's like, well, how much better can they make them? I think they're kind of at a plateau now. You know, certainly the thermal imaging camera stuff that they're coming out with on these, uh, which we're not buying into, you're mm -hmm. averaged between right around 10 years. Um, and again, it's, it's wear and tear. We try to rotate the packs amongst the riding seats uh, because for example, uh, engine 40 out of station one, a lot of the house fires are down in that territory. So their first two seated positions definitely get a lot more beat up. And then, so we constantly rotate them through to kind of take the, take the evenly distribute the wear and tear on them. Uh, we also have, we also maintain out of this 26, uh, four of them are designated as, as spare packs, which means if we uh, break a valve or do something during a fire, we're not down a riding position air pack, so we'll rotate that in. Also, those are the packs that go uh, to Montour Falls when we train our firefighters. That way we're not taking packs that are in service to fight fire. We have four that are available to send to the fire academy. Okay. Does the, um, does the manufacturer provide any length of warranties for the products? Yeah, and I, um, and I can certainly get that to everyone, especially if we're awarded. Uh, there's, it's certain things, you know, it's, it, um, certain things on seals may not be as, as long as the, uh, pressure regulators and those types of things as the hoses. And we also, every year, um, we do a service contract with the company that did do the bid or the quote for this, and they service our air packs every year. If anything's wrong beyond repair or beyond repair in the station, uh, mm -hmm. they'll actually take it to the factory up in Rochester. And uh, we put that in our budget every year. So we maintain as much life expectancy on this equipment that we invest money in. We want to make sure we get and squeeze every little bit of life out of it. And that's one thing we've tried to do going back to last year is, is making sure we do a lot of preventative maintenance because we've staved off uh, some pretty significant repairs by, by starting to do that. Sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Not for me. Thank you for your time. All right. Thanks, Chief. Okay. Um, anything else, uh, Mr. Mayor, before we uh, adjourn? I don't have anything. Thank you. Okay. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Could I get a second, please? Second. Second. Seconded by uh, Alderman Panis. All in favor? Aye. 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 And uh, opposed? Okay. We're adjourned. I'm going to jump right into... <coughs> I'm going to call the meeting, uh, call to order the regular meeting of the Common Council for Tuesday, January 26th, uh, 2021. Uh, will the clerk please take the attendance roll? Alderman Witt? Here. Alderman Panis? Here. Alderman Gonzalez? Here. Alderman Doty? Here. Alderman Robinson? Here. Alderman Anastasia? Here. And Alderman Crawford? Here. At this time, I would ask you to please uh, bow your head for the invocation. Father, as the events of the day continue to unfold, we seek your clarity and your peace. We know you are with us and for us as we gather today to seek your counsel. Scripture reminds us, the more we seek you, the more we find you. Lead our surrendered hearts to the path of your peace today. Come fully into our meeting, both as a group and individually, and sort our moral feelings and thoughts that plagues us. Cover us with a blanket of honesty and patience that is not of this world. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. All right, at this time, um, I will uh, rise to uh, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. All right. I don't know about the rest of you, but I think Lenz missed his calling as a uh, as a pastor or a preacher. Um, so, <laughs> great job! Great, great job! <laughs> Thank you.
All right. Um, uh, now he's going to want more money. <laughs> <laughs> double duty. He's serving double duty. Now we've got a chaplain on board. All right. Uh, reading, correcting, and approval of the minutes of the previous regular meeting. The regular meeting of the Olean Common Council was held on Tuesday, January 12, 2021, at 6.45 p.m. Present, Alderman Crawford, Alderman Wick, Alderman Panis, Alderman Dallas, Alderman Doty, Alderman Robinson, and Alderman Anastasia. Okay, thank you. Uh, could I get a motion, please, to approve the minutes? A motion. Motion is made by Alderman Witt. Could I get a second, please? Second. Second by Alderman Anastasia. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion's carried. Committee reports and unfinished council business. We have none. Communications from the mayor. Uh, yes, thank you, John. I just want to give a brief update to, uh, to the council on the Police Reform and Reinvention Committee. Uh, we have been meeting now for, we've had six meetings so far. Uh, this week will be the seventh. Uh, the first meeting lasted to one hour and uh, the last five meetings have gone for uh, uh, 1.5 hours. We've uh, discussed many topics and um, a lot of good conversation. A lot of good ideas are, are being set forth here. So uh, here's where we're at right now. Uh, in, the next, uh, in the next few meetings, we will be uh, putting together the draft plan. Uh, then we will have public comment. Uh, the final plan will be uh, then uh, draft, uh, drawn up and submitted to the Common Council. And then uh, it'll, it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, uh, submitted to the Common Council for adoption. And then it'll be sent off to the state. <clears throat> We have to have this all done by April 1st. And, and uh, I believe we're, uh, we've been moving along pretty well and going through things. So I believe we will make, meet that deadline. Uh, so uh, we'll be, we'll be just in today's uh, or Thursday's meeting, uh, we'll be discussing a better timeline on this and uh, uh, a few other topics. And uh, we, will, we will keep the council, once we get the draft plan, we'll make sure you all get a copy of that uh, so that you can uh, take a look at it and uh, 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 start to uh, see what, what we've been doing. So, so, uh, so far things have been going well. I'm very pleased with it. We've got a good group of people and uh, they're representing uh, many, uh, many assets uh, of the uh, community. So thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, miscellaneous communications. We have none. City official reports. Monthly report of the city auditor, month ended December, 2020. All right, uh, on to proposed legislation and referrals. PL02-21 by Mayor Elio, referred to committee of the whole Tuesday, January 26th, 2021 by council president. PL03-21 by Mayor Elio, referred to committee of the whole Tuesday, January 26, 2021 by council president. All right, um, before we get into public comment, I would like to offer an opportunity for any of the aldermen to make a statement at this time. All right, um, seeing nothing, uh, will the clerk please read the public comment statement? The public comment portion of the Common Council regular meeting is established to provide members of the community with the opportunity to publicly state their views, voice their concerns, or to provide input pertaining to any issue affecting city government. Additionally, the mayor, Common Council members, and city department heads encourage any person with questions to contact them at their offices. Okay, thank you, Lenz. Um, so, um, are there, is, do we, do we have any, uh, anyone who's, we have three, we have three attendees, uh, four with Linda there and, uh, okay, we do have a hand up now. Uh, Daniel Gayton has his hand up. I will click on allowing him to talk. All right. So, uh, at this time I will open public comment 
And anyone willing, uh, wishing to speak, you have uh, five minutes. Go ahead. Can you, guys, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, Bill, I'm glad you gave an update on the police reform committee because that's kind of exactly what I want to talk about tonight. Um, I, I had the ability to go back and watch not the most recent com one, but the one before that, where one of your councilmen, Kevin Doherty, um, decided that he was going to um, put some racially insensitive comments out there, um, which were very disturbing to not only me, but a bunch of other people that I talked to. Um, I'm a little disappointed in, in the Common Council as a whole on this especially uh, the mayor and the common council president who had the ability to address these racially inappropriate comments at the committee meeting uh, last Tuesday. <coughs> and there was crickets on this particular issue, which means, which tells me and, and some other people I talked to that you guys are not willing to address this issue head on. Um, also tonight, looking over your agenda, nothing was, um, on there about about these comments as well. So I had the ability to go out and talk to a couple people in the community about this. Um, and they weren't really happy either, some minorities. Uh, I, I would like Kevin Doherty removed from the police reform committee. Um, it puts your police reform committee at question, um, having somebody with them statements on the committee itself that's there to try to um, make some reforms and some good so some good movement in the city. Um, if you want to see how this actually struck the people that were actually on the committee, go back and watch the video. As soon as he said it, Chief Richardson um, was had a look of shock on his face. Every single minority on that committee sat straight up and looked into the camera and then addressed it. Kenny Wright said it best when he told Kevin Doherty, you just put this committee back two months with them statements. Um, so with, with that, I don't understand how you guys can get the city and the minorities and the poor people in this community to buy into police reform when you openly have somebody who has said, I don't even want to call them racial slurs. Let's just call them racial insensitive comments on your committee. And from a common council perspective, have, haven't even addressed the issue um, at all outside of that committee, which a lot of people are, are, are a little upset about that. But what I will say is right now, the mayor and the common council president have the ability to make this adjustment and remove him from the committee. And if you guys don't, I would like to see a whole common council approval on this. But if you guys don't, and I want to know how can you guys, as a committee, say to the community that we have your best interest in mind when these are the people that you have on the committee? Give you a couple statements from uh, somebody who works in a prison who's a minority. He says, yeah, there's a lot of white privilege on there, but we can get around that just because they're ignorant. But boy, did you hear what Kevin said? Another person. Um, who actually is a it works at a factory around here who's a minority says boy how, how how can we know that they're gonna look out for us did you hear what kevin said so these people see it look at dr watkins face when he said it he was on a committee if he could have went any further back in his screensaver so that you didn't have to see his face he would have you cannot ask the community to buy into moving this community forward with, in, with, with equality and everything else. And you guys are failed, failed to address the issues at hand. The elephants in the room just address the issues. How can you buy into, how can you ask us to buy into it? And you guys won't even address the issue. The issue is right there in front of your face. It's on tape. There's no dispute in what was there. There's no dispute in everybody's reaction. I'm pretty sure that if you ask the police officers right now, Boone's not writing off on that statement. Langdon's not writing off on that statement. Chief Richardson's not writing off on that statement as being okay. But yet these guys are the same people that we're talking about their jobs. And they're not even, they. I, uh, if you ask a man to man, 
They're, they don't agree with that statement. So how can you have him on the committee? It just doesn't make sense. And it's not the first statement that he's made. And, you know, you can't sit there and say, as he likes to say, maybe it's my ignorance. You can only be ignorant so many times before that becomes who you are. So you, you guys have to remove him immediately if you want the public to buy into this. Because I'm telling you right now, from my conversations with them, it, no, they, they don't they don't feel like you guys got their best interests in mind and it in the minority listen go back and watch the tape look at the minorities on there they all got as close to the cameras as they could possibly get except for dr Watkins wanted to shrink into a screen safe and for you guys as a common council not to address this, but yet sit up there and say that you you got a diversity committee, you want police reform and everything else, put your money where your mouth is. Do something about it. It's right here. Not asking, we're not asking you guys to take them off the common council, take them off the committee. That's fully within your power. It's fully within the power of the of the common council president. It's fully within the power of the mayor. If you don't do it, do you really have the people's best interest in mind or are we just playing games here with that? That's all I got. I'm just going to sit back and watch whether and see whether we're playing games or whether we're serious. That's okay. it. Thank you, Mr. Gayton. Anyone else? Anyone else? I don't, I don't see any other hands up. Anyone else? Okay. We have another hand up, Mr. Mayor. Yes, we do. Yep. Uh, Please state your, name, uh, state your name and address uh, and you'll have five minutes. My name is Taya Pascucci. Um, I am temporarily staying at 326 and a half North Union Street, only in New York, 14760. <laughs> um, am I am I allowed to talk now? Yes. Yeah, of course, Dad. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. All right. So um I just wanted to um kind of follow up on Danny's comment. Um he kind of pretty much took everything that I would have said right out of my mouth um you know i i know kevin i used to work for kevin so you know at first you know with the few incidents i mean there's been quite a few but with the few incidents that he's had i've always tried to remain neutral because i knew kevin and because you know there's been times that he has helped me out when i needed some help so it, it's kind of like you know like i have you know, some respect for him. But I can honestly say that after hearing about that comment, it, it kind of, it really disturbs me because, you know, I, I would like to say that, that uh, you know, I look at Kevin as, I don't want to say a friend because it's not like we talk like that, but I know that if I needed something that, that he could do, I know that he would help me. So I, you know, it, it hurts me because did you think about people like me or did you think about Miley when you, when you made that comment? And I know that you have like a weird sense of humor, but there is nothing humorous about that. Like it, it, it was absolutely insensitive and not just racially insensitive, it's offensive. So like, I just don't understand, you know, like why, why you thought that it was appropriate. And I, I second <laughs> Danny's motion on wanting um, Kevin Doherty removed from the police reform committee or, and for the diversity committee, because obviously with that kind of sense of humor and the fact that you would even, or I don't even want to call it humor, but in his perspective, you know, his humor, it just doesn't seem to really reflect the views and the morals that are supposed to be put in place for these committees. It just doesn't align. So I just wanted to speak on that in case anybody else um, didn't want to make a public comment. 
that I think that he should be removed. Now, as far as common counsel, I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm honestly new to this. I didn't really get into, you know, local politics until, you know, people started educating me. Um, but I think that maybe, you know, he can stay on the, on the common council, but um, as far as the other communities, it just doesn't, it's not right. And that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Pasucci. Okay. <clears throat> Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Cool. That's all I see, John. At this time, I will call the public comment closed. Uh, any follow up? Okay. Seeing nothing, I will uh, move along on to finance and bills. By Alderman Crawford, seconded by Alderman Doty. The auditor has processed bills and claims against the city of Orleans as per list submitted to each alderman and recommends payment thereof. Whereas the auditor has presented to the common council bills and claims against the city of Orleans totaling $788,395.18 for the budget and a recommended payment thereof. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the same be in all hereby audited and allowed, and the auditor is hereby authorized and directed to draw warrants for the payment thereof the amount set opposite each respective claim. So <clears throat> before, before jumping into that, um, you know, and, 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 to, and taking a role, I, I guess I do have a follow up um, on, on those statements. And, um, and, and because it, it, does, it takes a lot to, to come out and, and um, it's part of the communication that needs to be discussed, right? And, and it's part of what needs to be um, talked about in the open is, is what, you know, certain people, what some people believe, you know, find to be offensive and, and where we need to recognize uh, offensive comments in, in today's, certainly in today's culture. Um, you know, I, I proudly am serving on the diversity committee. Um, I know a number of our common council members are either serving on the police reform or the diversity committee, because uh, along with the mayor, we've made a, um, a commitment to to improving, uh, you know, certainly um, inclusive relationships uh, across the city of Olean. And so I, I do wanna thank uh, those who spoke up tonight. Um, and, I, and I also want to challenge uh, the, all of us, uh, all of the aldermen, all of uh, the public servants to, to be more um, aware and, and um, you know, just cognizant of, of what we say and how it can be interpreted. Um, you know we've got to we've got to work together on this, and uh, and and I think by informing and educating each other, um, you know, it, it'll go a long way. So I, I do want to just, uh, you know, obviously it was something that um, really you know hit to the core of uh, a couple of the speakers um, and others in the community too. And I just want to I appreciate the fact that you came forward and uh, brought that uh, to our attention. So thank you. Okay. Um, sorry, Lunds. Okay. So um, we we uh, we've received our finance and bills. Uh, we that was you know open for discussion in uh, committee of the whole. So uh, any last minute comments or questions on this? Okay. Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Wick. Yes. Alderman Panis. Yes. <clears throat> Alderman Gonzalez. Yes. Alderman Doty. Yes. Alderman Robinson. Yes. Alderman Anastasia. Yes. Alderman Crawford. Yes. Motion carries seven to zero. All right. On to resolutions. Uh, at this time, everyone, I need to make a motion to suspend the rules. Could I get a second, please? So seconded. Second by Alderman Doherty. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, I'm going to make a motion now to amend the agenda to include resolution 5 21. Could I get a second, please? Second. Okay. Seconded by uh, Alderman Witt. All in favor? Aye. 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 The ayes have it. 
Okay, um, moving along. Resolution 03-21, PL02-21 by Alderman Wick, seconded by Alderman Anastasia, that the project loan committee recommends that the city subordinate its lien position for Olean ownership assistant program 05-00. Okay, uh, discuss this committee of the whole. Last minute comment questions. Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Wicht? Yes. Alderman Panis? Yes. Alderman Gonzalez? Yes. Alderman Doty? Yes. Alderman Robinson? Yes. Alderman Anastasia? Yes. And Alderman Crawford? Yes. Motion carries seven to zero. Resolution 04-21, PL03-21 by Alderman Crawford, seconded by Alderman Robinson, that the Common Council as lead agency concludes that the, pro the proposed city of Oli and Washington Street waterline replacement project is a type two action. And that after a full review of the environmental and ass assessment form determines that the project will have no adverse impact and thus declare a declaration, a negative declaration, excuse me. Okay, again, from the committee of the whole, any comments? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Witt? Yes. Alderman Panis? Yes. Alderman Gonzalez? Yes. Alderman Doty? Yes. Alderman Robinson? Yes. Alderman Anastasia? Yes. Alderman Crawford? Yes. Motion carries seven to zero. Resolution 05-21, PL none, to authorize the mayor to submit a grant application to the Department of Homeland Securities, Securities um, Federal Agency Management Agency under the fiscal year 2020 assistant to firefighters grant program for funding associated with the replacement of the fire department's inventory of, of SCBAs. We're going to need sponsor for that. Okay, uh, again, uh, thank you to uh, Chief Richardson uh, for, for finding this opportunity. I know we haven't gotten it yet, but uh, Godspeed, hopefully, um, I couldn't think of a better uh, ten, uh, use of uh, city $10,000 and to uh, help support our first responders. So um, I would like to offer, uh, open it up or um, for, for anyone who would like to sponsor this. I'll sponsor. It was a tie. Um, I, That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Alderman Robinson and I'll, I'll go ahead and second it by Alderman Witt. <laughs> Thank you. And you know, anytime we can keep our guys safe, if you've ever been in a fire, and see what they have to go into is not even a question. This is a great, great grant to go after. I hope I, I, hope I never have to see, see that. I hope I never have to be in the fire to, but uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, John, if I may just, just so for clarification, uh, as it stands right now, it's about a $10,000 match. Uh, yeah. We are gonna try to take that out of existing funds uh, or we're gonna put in the budget for it, uh, the next, uh, the budget we're working on now. In the event that that doesn't pan out, we may be coming to you uh, to ask for that out of contingency. <laughs> okay, um, very well. I just wanted to, uh, as a reminder, and I don't know if the chief mentioned it, when when will we find out one way or the other, when will the results of this grant go through? This, uh, it's it's gonna be submitted February uh, 12th. And you, uh, this year, they're about a month and a half earlier than they were last year. And we started seeing results around the end of August. So I would assume probably end of July, but with COVID, I, I don't know. Everything's kind of all over the place. So okay. hopefully it's late summer. Okay, thank you. All right, anything else? Will the clerk please call the roll? Alderman Witt? Yes. Alderman Panis? Yes. Alderman Gonzalez? Yes. Alderman Doty? Yes. Alderman Robinson? Yes. Alderman Anastasia? Yes. And Alderman Crawford? Yes. Motion carries seven to zero. Okay, 
Anything before we adjourn? Seeing nothing, I will make motion to adjourn. Could I get a second? Second. Second by Alderman Gonzalez. All in favor? No. Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Okay. Thanks, Any everybody. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Hey. See ya. Have a good night. Good night, all. <laughs>